If you've ever found yourself in a middle seat on a cross-country flight, fighting tooth and nail with the sick person beside you for the armrest, then you know what a pain it is to fly commercial. Sure, you end up where you're going, if you're lucky, but do you actually enjoy the journey sitting all the way back in 42E? For some, flying is a luxurious experience. You can sail high above the clouds in a plush leather seat, making conference calls and whisking yourself off to an exotic destination, if you have a private jet, that is. A private jet is one of the first investments I truly made once I made a name for myself, and I can happily say I don't regret it. I haven't fought over an armrest or a bag of peanuts in years, but I can't deny there are a few drawbacks, a few very, very large financial drawbacks. Today, we're going to take a look at how much it truly costs to own a private jet. I'll even include how much it costs yearly to fly and maintain the private jet that I own. So, what exactly do you have to do to maintain a private jet once you buy the actual plane? Private jets aren't a one-and-done situation. You have to pay for every takeoff, every landing, every bag of peanuts and bottle of wine. There are ramp fees, where you have to pay whenever your plane has a layover. There are landing fees, which vary from 100 to 500 bucks, where you have to pay for every single landing your plane makes. There are also hangar fees, which cover the cost of parking your plane in a hangar. After all, if you've spent $100 million on your plane, chances are you're not going to want it sitting out in the rain. On average, hangar fees land around $81,000 per year. If you want your plane parked and ready to go at a hopping airport like LAX, they charge up to $12,000 per month, adding up to a staggering $140,000. $44,000 per year. Of course, flying is considered a rather dangerous endeavor, so you'll need insurance, and not just one kind. Hull insurance, which covers damage to the plane and all of its systems, runs around $34,000 per year. On top of that, if you're the owner of the jet, you'll need single liability insurance, which tacks on another fun fee of $12,500. That's not even mentioning fuel costs, which vary from plane to plane, but can cost as much as $53,000 thousand dollars for a single fill. If you're keeping track so far, our expenses are steadily climbing to a fairly high altitude. Now sure, the plane is important, but unless you're a pilot, you're going to need a crew, and you're going to have to shell out quite a bit of money to keep them around. On average, you can expect to pay about $215,000 per year for a pilot, co-pilot, and two flight attendants. You have to pay overnight fees for your crew, which include lodging, transportation, and food. Food. If you're planning on staying at a destination for a while, you can send your crew back to your home base, but that'll cost you a repositioning fee. On top of all these necessary fees, there are a few random outliers that go with operating such a complex piece of machinery. If you're flying from Quebec to Florida in the middle of December, looking to escape to a warmer climate, you'll have to pay a de-icing fee before your wheels hop off the tarmac. If something goes wrong with your jet, you can look at paying as much as $60,000 for a new windshield or $8,000 for a new tire. In other words, cross your fingers and hope that you're flying from a warm destination to a warm destination with no repairs in store. Now, let's get down into the nitty gritty. The price difference between aircraft. The most common private jet in the world is the Cessna Citation XLS, a small firecracker of a jet that can seat eight people along with four crew members. The Cessna is a bit dated, but it's often upgraded and fitted with all new tech and luxurious touches. Buying an updated Cessna will cost you around $14 million. If you want to buy a 10-year-old basic model, it'll run you about $4 million. If you're flying around 200 hours per year, that's enough to jet from LA to London about 15 times. It'll cost you around $805,000 to maintain the plane. That rounds out to about $10.15 per mile. But maybe you want something a little nicer than an old Cessna Citation XLS. Maybe you want something luxurious, like the Gulfstream 650. I can't say enough about this plane, which is actually the one I decided to purchase years ago. This jet has a lounge area with a sofa and a flat screen television that pops out of a credenza. The credenza also has an added bonus, a wine cabinet where chilled bubbly awaits. In my case, it's normally a nice white wine. There's also a dining room and a private stateroom, where a couch folds out into a double-sized bed. 
For being 30,000 feet above the ground, the bed is fairly comfortable, and I've had my fair share of nights in the Mile High Club. I have many lovely memories on my Gulfstream 650, but that hasn't come without investing a fair share of my money into it. It costs about $1.6 million a year to operate the Gulfstream. To fly 200 hours per year, which is around my average, the fuel alone costs almost a half a million dollars. When you factor in how much the plane costs to purchase in the first place, around $65.5 million, you're talking about a lot of money. Of course, you don't have to buy a plane. You can charter one instead. Before I took the plunge and bought my Gulfstream, I was chartering jets almost every other weekend. And it doesn't come cheap. If you're chartering a small plane, you can expect to pay between $2,000 to $3,000 per hour. The Cessna Citation, which is considered a mid-sized plane, costs around $9,500 per hour. But the Gulfstream? <laughs> It'll cost you around $13,000 per hour. If you're flying from New York to London every week, you're going to be racking up some pretty hefty chartering rates. All in all, the world of private jets is an exciting, enticing, luxurious, and downright expensive one. What do you think of the costs of owning and operating private jets? Would you prefer to buy or rent? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip. Do doodly do.